Welcome to the Old Luminous Channel. This is a, um, uh, a soldering station and also a rework station, hot air station combined. Um, this came from T-Mart. It came for review. It came from T-Mart USA. Uh, it came with the, uh, the, the, the hot air unit. It came with the soldering gun, soldering iron. Uh, and it came with uh, some spare or some tips for the hot air unit, different uh, size tips. And uh, it came with a manual that's fully in English, okay, which is a great benefit. Uh, it was packaged in the original packaging and, uh, and packaged well. Came UPS ground. Uh, so anyways, uh, I'm going to do a review on this. This is basically just the initial you know what have I got kind of thing to give you a little information on it because uh, I've never worked with a hot air station before so I'm going to learn and I'm going to do a video showing you how I learned how to do it because I've never tried it before um, I can tell you a little bit about the the, uh, the unit right now the basics uh, it has a digital readout uh, it has a switch on off switch for the rework station okay it's set at 200 degrees right now. It has an on-off switch for the soldering station. And you can see how fast that thing heats up right now. <laughs> it's amazing, but okay, it went from, you know, it went to, to a temperature of 200 degrees right there. And the iron is hot. Uh, I mean, it may not be quite 200, but it's darn close. So it's a, it's a, fast, uh, a fast heat iron, that's for sure. Um, the soldering iron is a, is a 50 watt iron. Uh, it's more like a pencil tip. Okay. I'll probably like that for some of the small components, but I won't like it for big, heavy stuff. Uh, it's a 26 volt soldering iron. Power consumption is 50 watt. Uh, the temperature range is 200 to 450 degrees. Um, the, uh, uh, the rework gun uh, is uh, uh, 110 volt, um, 220 to 110 volt is set up for 110 volt, uh, 700 watt, uh, temperature range 100 to 450 C, uh, uses a brushless fan, uh, airflow is supposed to be 120 liter a minute max. Um, so that gives you a little bit about what it is. Now, on the station itself, uh, it's, it's a Y-I-H-U-A, I cannot pronounce that, Y-I-H-U-A 8786D, single LED display, has a LED readout for the, when the rework station's on and one for when the soldering station's on, up and down buttons to change temperatures, set button, not sure what the heck that's for yet, uh, this dial indicator here from 1 to, to 8, is where you set the temperature for the uh, for the uh, soldering iron okay um, and again the switches for on and off down here on the bottom for each one the rework station wire is is hardwired into the unit the soldering gun uh, wire can be taken out as a six pin plug um, as I say the tip is a very fine point tip and there are no spare tips I still have to find out exactly which tips fit because uh, there weren't any tips specifically for this unit listed at T-Mart site, but I saw several tips for various other manufacturers that should be the same thing, and I'm going to have to investigate that. Um, the, uh, the unit is, uh, uh, what it says in here is, it's a two-in-one rework soldering station, uh, closed sensor loop, microprocessor, PID technology, um, uh, do, 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 let's see what else I can say. Uh, uh, intelligent self detection features uh, and uh, intelligent air reporting system, auto cooling function. Uh, that's about it right there. Now, um, like I say, this is just the basics. I mean, from, from getting it, you know, the, the exterior box is fine, all the packaging was correct and, and, and fine. Uh, the unit itself. Uh, looks to be a, a very nice unit, uh, and uh, I will not know how it works or how well it works until I test. So this is just the basics, and I'll be doing another video showing more about how the unit works when I learn how to use it. And I will also be doing another video showing um, 
in, in actual use doing some hot air reflow that I need to do um, and then maybe I will go ahead and tear it down and show you the guts I think I probably will do that too so uh, it's just a couple two or three videos to look forward to in the next few days again thanks for watching oh and one last little thing too as you know that I tend to do giveaways on everything that I get for review I just wanted to let you guys know ahead of time not happening okay this one stays in the shop <laughs> just thought I'd let you know that up front this puppy stays in the shop